Alright guys, we're back. Come on guys, it happened. Something magical came along. And had to go and replace the view Sonic. And here we have... The Sony G520P. There's only one step up that could actually get me to take this off the desk. And that would have to be the FW900, which is legendary at this point. But this just goes with the setup. Oh, so nice. Silver trim, dark gray. Um, this was destined to be here with the Dell. With the steel series all across the land the outland like i said it would take something magical to come along and replace this but uh here we are and you know sony coming through again um i literally couldn't be happier with this like right now we're seeing a little bit of nasty uh refresh rate scuff um, but it's you know an interesting pattern and that's because we're running this 800 by 600 170 Hertz guys and the smoothness of the butter it's like it's been heated up melted and everything is just slippery slidey all around we've got uh, yeah we've got something really lucky here and we can kick this up Oh, and by the way, guys, I changed out the video card. We're running a, uh, I think an ATI 5770 right now. No, Sapphire. Actually, it's a Sapphire. But we're gonna kick this up. Let's let's take this all the way up to 1440p. A little cinematic here. My son, the day you were born, the very forests of Lordaeron whispered the name. Oh yeah, these Warcraft cinematics were always so amazing, they were so ahead of their time, uh, even today they just somehow look next level, um, the music, the dialogue, it's just everything is on that next level. Calling out the frost worm. Oh, that looks so freaking good.
for when my days have come to an end. You shall be king. Yeah, it looks good. You know, I feel like I gotta bring this down a little bit. It's a little too light right now. You know, I, I feel like we could just do it. Maybe on standard, just a little darker dynamic. I like the brightness though. Of the highlights. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking pretty fresh. Refresh rate is pretty bad now, though. So I'm gonna take it back 120. And as you can see here, guys, like when you get 120 on a monitor, it, sometimes it just plays nice. And you know, oh, we lost it. Yeah, right. No, there we go. And you can just play around this area with yeah, the light. The other thing about CRT is because it naturally is like a light bulb, basically, it, it has this natural, or I guess really natural glow to it. So things that um, you know should be super bright appear as they are. Uh, fires and flashlights, car headlights, these kind of things on CRTs always looked really good uh, and it was almost like half of HDR. I mean the black levels were so good too you could pull out um, only so much detail though just the way things were shot and just kind of show off these colors, show off this uh, this brightness. Actually we gotta turn off the light here and photo editing like this monitor is exactly what that was for back in the day and people that were editing on CRTs probably I'd say some still are but you know I intend to um, but a lot of people probably switched over in the last five years because things have kind of changed the game has changed and CRTs haven't been available for a long time too which is kind of interesting so there's a real like uh, window that's closing if you want to get your hands on these puppies just like scrolling through the backgrounds, just really kind of seeing the colors and how, uh, you know, the strokes on this. I know OLED TVs, a lot of their marketing has been revolved around paintings um, and kind of the natural, true to life look of that. Um, but CRTs too, like looking at those oil paintings, uh, those high res captures, it's just, yeah, this one, this is really nice. Yeah, that's another one. We got a lot of these desktop backgrounds. I just got it cycling right now, but uh, some great art in here. And I ended up picking up just over the years. This monitor, we basically, we got higher refresh rates. We've got more options for resolutions. We've got super high def resolutions. I believe this does 1440p. Um, and I, possibly maybe 4K at a full screen ratio. Um, but it, I, you know, love the silver. The P version designates the silver color and it really matches the setup. So I, you know, so I just want to kind of cycle through some of these uh, pictures I got on here and. I mean, the refresh rate is playing a little nasty right now. There we go. Okay, this is actually a good image. I'm so accustomed to the Capcom blue and yellow that this looks pretty good. So I, this monitor did not come uh, perfect. I spent a lot of time tweaking this, trying to get this just right. I actually kind of freaked out a little bit because I was using a really patchy cable and I was getting some echo on my signal and I knew 
and realized that it was just the cable. Uh, I should have, I should have caught that. Sure enough, the echo was gone, and everything just looked a lot clearer and crisp. Analog is a fidgety little kind of thing, so it, it, you know it could be a lot of issues if you're if you're dealing with analog.